before Japan's finally able to put it away and sew up the deal with a 6-2 win over Malaysia for the bronze medal. So now we move on to our final match of the morning here on Recurve Sunday, and it is the men's team gold medal match, and this should be a great one as well. 10th seeded Russia, 10th after the ranking rounds, taking the field. Russia started the run with a 6 to nothing win over India. And you check me on these, Larry, just to make sure. I, yep, I yep. did some of these late at night, and I, I think I got some of them confused. <laughs> but I believe they started with a 6 to nothing win over India, then had a 5-3 win against Belarus, and survived a shoot-off with Japan, which was decided by one point. Yep, that's, that's correct. So um, that's how they got here. And now I'm going to try to pronounce these names as best as I can. Bear with me. Galtson Bazarshapov, Bolat Tsipshitov, and Bayir Tsibek Dorjiev. Um, how did I do? That, that was much better than ever that I could have done. I and if I mispronounced yeah. it, I apologize to everybody in Russia. I think I might just call them Archer A, B, and C. <laughs> <laughs> we may be going on a first name basis from here on out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now the team from Korea taking the field of battle. Korea with a three set win, five to one over Great Britain. Had the same score in their victory over the Netherlands and then blanked Malaysia. Strong, strong team for Korea, obviously. Hu Bun Chan. Kim Woo Jin, and on your left, Ho Jin Yek. Those are three tough guys to try to beat. Oh yeah. Very, very tough guys. Korea seated number one after the ranking round. Yeah, they took us out in the 1-8th elimination um, to a 5-1, but I mean, the scores were very close. You know, they, they just got us by one point for the first two sets and then, and then we tied up the, the, the last set for them to win the 5-1. So it was a closer match than, than uh, unfortunately the, you know, the, the scores show. Uh, but they are a tough team. You, you know, any, any team with an Olympic champion in it is it's a tough team. The Korean team dropped just two set points all along the way to get to this gold medal match and they start off with the nine. Korea. A nine by Kim Woo Jin. Now here's Ku Bun Chan. Ku Bun Chan, 21 years old, ranked 60th in the world. Ah. In the ten ring. He's a fantastic archer. Another one coming through from, uh, from the Korean system. And talk about a fantastic archer. Here's the man who's numero uno, Wu Jin Yek. Number one in the world, 32 years old. And is it on the line? I think that was, uh, yeah, we'll call that a nine. Yep. So a nine, ten, and a nine to start off for Korea. They set the bar high for the team from the Russian Federation. Yes, this is Golson. Good start. Golson. Zarshapov with a ten. Big, strong kid. 19 years old. Bayer Tsibek Torjiev. Drifting off to the left. Bayer. Bayer. And now we bring up Bolat Zibzitov. Yeah, this is a young team, isn't it? 19, 20, and 21. Bolat is 20 years old. Bayer is 21. Galsan is 19. If they don't seem rattled, they put up 27 and they're only down by one point. Yeah, it's a good, uh, good start for them in this match. So back to Kim Woo Jin. Trying to remember if I've seen him wearing glasses while he's been competing. Yeah, yeah, I've always known him to, be wear, to wear glasses. Now the 21-year-old Kuban Chan who won a team gold medal last month down in Medellin at stage two. So an eight by Kuban Chan and Ojin Yek, who right now is third in the World Cup standings individually. So 54 total points. Not out of the realm of possibility. This is an opportunity for Russia here. 
Alsan Bazarjapal. This is his first World Cup event. Chance still there for the Russian Federation, but they need tens on these next two shots. Eight. Not going to do it. No. Those two, are, those last two hours, both low. Nothing changed out there again in the in the conditions. So here is Bolat Tsibjitov. And even further off target. Wow. The first three shots, right around the middle of the target, those next three shots, way off target, yeah. way off center. They dropped, yeah, they dropped a lot of points there. So, um, whether something's changed out in the conditions or whether it's just new, I'm not sure. I mean, the, the wind still looks a bit to be consistent out there. Um, they're a young team, maybe it is their news. So when you come out, hit those first three shots, get a little yeah, bit too excited? Maybe. I think that may be what was happening. Because yeah. yeah. they came out strong, hit those three shots, scored 27 points, but then faltered on the next three shots, a seven and eight, and a six picked up only 21 more points in that set. Yeah. So now they know what it's like to be out here. Yeah. <laughs> welcome, <laughs> welcome to the big show. Yeah, welcome to the big stage. It's so interesting to see the eliminations, and then we get to this point with these venues. The elimination's completely different. You could have 300 people out there shooting all at the same time. Yeah. You're almost anonymous, really. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And here the spotlight is on you. Completely different atmosphere, completely different feeling. What was it like for you the first time you went from that situation into this kind of a stage? It was exciting, and, you know, I was nervous. I think as pretty much every archer would be in their first first event. And the more of these events you do, the less nervous you get. Um, I can stand out in, 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 you know, in these events now, and, and it's, it's not really there because I'm enjoying it so much. Um, like, you know, I've, I've come, become accustomed to it. Like, like the Koreans, you know, they're very accustomed to this. Much at ease, very yeah, much at ease. Yeah. Yeah. And really, it's great for all archers as you build towards the Olympics. Because when you get to that venue, it's the biggest stage of all oh, in yeah. this sport. Yeah. And if you haven't been here before, I don't know how you could ever prepare for that. Yeah, that's very difficult um, to prepare for. Eight. I think um, the big stage. Certainly when I went to Athens, I, it was pretty much my first big stage. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's hard to know what to expect. Um, and yeah, you can crumble or you can you can shine. Um, and, you know, accept it as it is and, and enjoy it. And um, and that's what happens, you know, you, can, you get, you get the beauty of the Archery World Cup Tour prepares archers for those moments because it puts you in these situations ahead of time where the pressure is on and you have to deliver under the pressure as Kim Woo Jin did just there. Yeah, this is a very, very strong team from Korea. Um, Kim Woo Jin, a World Cup gold medalist in Tokyo in 2012. Ku Bon Chan, a team gold medalist in Medellin last month. And now you've got Oo Jin Yek, who won a World Cup final in Paris last fall and won the Olympic gold medal in London two years ago, becoming the first male Korean wow. archer to win an individual Olympic title. Pretty impressive resumes. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. That's a very powerful, strong team. Kim was um, world champion, I'm sure, as well. Uh, yeah. Two years ago. They've got a lot of titles under their belts on uh, this team. Kim Woo Jin winning the world title in Torino 2011. So a strong, strong lineup for the Korean contingent as the Russian Federation tries to battle back. Tough circumstances right now. Bolat Tsipchitov, ranked 39th in the world, won a team gold medal at the Youth Championships in China back in 2013, and he comes through with a 10. I think they're gonna struggle. 
dropping seven points on this set though, I think. Um, looking at the stats, the Koreans, you know, they should have this set quite comfortably, I think. Kim Woo Jin coming through again. And another 10 by Kuban Chan. So the teammates are putting the pressure on. Um, oh, <laughs> they both shot X's. Have you ever seen O when he appeared to be under pressure? No, really. No, I have right, not either. He just shot on the X. He just shoots. <laughs> it's a very simple game, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. It amazes me. A very, very simple game for Oh Jin Yek and for that matter for the rest of the Korean team. The three, of course, won stage two in Medellin in a shoot off with India. That was an excellent match down in Medellin. Kim Woo Jin, Oh Jin Yek, Kuban Chan able to hold off India. India really gave him a run for the money down in Medellin. Yeah, I, I watched some of it. So, um, fantastic scoring. It was a great, teams. great match. Yeah, yeah. Joy to watch. And of course, at Shanghai, stage one, it was Japan beating Australia for the gold medal. It was Australia's first team medal since 2008 as they went home with the silver. But Japan won stage one, Korea won stage two. Now, Korea trying to make it back to back gold medals in men's team competition on the recurve side. And they are just Six arrows away from doing so. Trying to make it a clean sweep over the Russian Federation. Of course, we will see a great deal more of archers from Russia, Japan, China coming up this afternoon. From Antalya, Turkey, side of stage three. On the Archery World Cup circuit, along with Larry Gottfried, I'm Carl Arkey. And once again, we want to thank our great sponsors who helped bring you World Cup archery. Kia Motors, Sport Toto, Fila, Turkish Hello. Airlines, Longines, White Bows, Easton Arrows. Russia shooting first on target number two. So Galsan Bazarshapov, 19 years old at his first World Cup event. Yeah. Getting it back together again. I think they're settled down now, you know, these guys. Nothing to lose. Bayer Zibektorjev, who was on Russian teams that finished ah. ninth in Shanghai and ninth in Medellin this year. They're going to go home with the medal this time. Zibjitov now. Ten. With a 10. Good shot. Good shot. It's a good end. 28 points is a uh, And it's nice to see the Russian Federation regain the composure. Yeah. For a moment there, they were all over the map. Kim Wu Jin. What a luxury for a team to have Kim Wu Jin leading off and Oh Jin Yek. Going last. Wow. Yeah. And Kim Kubon Chan is not bad in the middle either. Wow. <laughs> He's in the individual finals this afternoon, I think. I believe so, yes. Yeah. There does not appear to be a weak link on this team. Ah. Wow, wow. Yeah. That's all you can say is wow. Yeah. I wish I could come up with something more profound than wow, but <laughs> it just makes it look so easy. Wow. I think. <laughs> and it's from 70 meters away. <laughs> Great shot by Galsan. Yeah. Yep. This will be the first World Cup medal for this young man by Yer Tsebek Dorjev. In all likelihood of silver, but the Russian Federation fighting to the end. 
Trailing 4 nothing in the match. On the ropes right now. Much better shooting from this team now. A bit more relaxed. They have the lay of the land, no question about that by Olat. It's a good, it's a good effort. 57 is a very high score. Try to keep this match alive. So Zipchitov finishes off with a good shot. 10, 57 points in this set. And Kim Woo Jin wow. appears in tendon, finishing this off. Yes. As I'm sure the rest of his teammates share that opinion. Power nines, I think, is all they need. Kuban Chan wow. with a 10. Another 10. So, eight or more. And they put it in the hands of Oh Jin Yek. who picked up a silver and two gold medals in Medellin last oh, month, and he's going to get another gold medal right now because that seals the deal. Six mil sweet. Fantastic uh, team in Korea. You know, it, it never seems to get old for them. No. no. They enjoy it every time. Yep, definitely. What a display by the Korean men's team here in the gold medal match. Completing a tremendous week. They had that three set win, five to one over Great Britain. Scored a five to one win over the Netherlands, blanked Malaysia, and now they blank the Russian Federation. So basically in their last two matches, nobody was able to even win a set. No. No. Um, and when you look at their lineup with the Olympic champion, world, former world champion, um, and uh, you know World Cup finalists, it's a strong team. There's there, like you said earlier, there is no weak link. No weak link at all. No. And should they have to go to an alternate, I'm sure that yeah. there would still be no weak link. It would be another world champion. There's somebody world strong waiting night. in the wings, yeah. just itching yeah. for the opportunity to take part yeah. and be a part of this. Definitely. So there you see the scores, and it's a straight set win. Three straight sets for an overpowering and dominant team from Korea.